Assalamu alaikum and welcome back to Marvish Cuisine. Today I'm sharing a recipe for dhuwa gosht or it's also called dhuwa dahi gosht. Uh, there are very different variations and techniques to make this recipe. So I thought to share how I make this dhuwa dahi gosht. So let's go and make it happen. So let's start the recipe with bismillah first in the pan. I'm heating up some oil and adding chopped onions. Start cooking onions until onion just start to change its color. Then I'm adding freshly minced garlic and I'll add ginger as well and start cooking um, ginger and garlic until they get sauteed and aroma started to come out. Now it's time to add meat. I add a little bit of yogurt in my meat while I was cutting, chopping the onions and frying them from the uh, yogurt which I'm using uh, in the whole recipe. Now cook the meat until meat start to change its color. Now I'm seasoning it with some uh, salt red chili powder, coriander powder, and black pepper powder. With some turmeric, uh, just saute the seasoning, and now I'll add the yogurt. Usually one of the very famous variation for this recipe is that they add the yogurt on top. I'll do that as well, but I just save like a two to three tablespoon and rest of the yogurt goes in the gravy and cook until yogurt is cooked through and all separates. I'm adding water in a water which we need to cook our meat. When it comes to one boil, just cover and simmer and let it cook until meat is completely tender. It depends on the meat, what are you, which one you're using. Today I'm using wheel, you can use goat, lamb or whatever. Um, this should have very less gravy, but it's up to you. If you want, you can add a little bit of um, water in the end. Dish it out and use the leftover yogurt. I'm just drizzling the yogurt on top of it. Then I am arranging some sliced onion on it. And then here goes the chopped cilantro and chopped mint. Today I was out of mint, so I'm not adding that, but please add that, it will create the best um, flavor in your dish. In the end, just adding green chilies and adding uh, heated up coal on the piece of foil, uh, just drop some oil and immediately cover it. So all the smoke goes in the meat, which will make it dhuwa gosh, smoky meat. That's what it is. So here your dhuwa, the he gosh is ready. Serve it with some naan, onion, side of chutney raita or whatever your family enjoys it with. My family thoroughly enjoyed it. It's something different, simple, needs very minimal ingredient and turned out delicious. And if you're trying this at home, please let me know how it turned out with you. If you want to learn something else, let me know. Leave me a comment down below and I will try my best to make it happen for you guys. Once again, thank you so much for watching. And if you like this recipe, don't forget to click on the links to enjoy a lot more recipes like this.